Nitrocellulose is used in magic shows, film industry, or making ping pong balls. It is extremely flammable, and when you fire it off, all the nitrocellulose will convert to gas, leaving no solids if the nitration of hydroxy group is complete. For the synthesis, I'll follow the procedure on the Science Madness fandom page, and I'll leave the site down below. I'll double the amount shown in the page. First, get about 5 grams of cellulose. I use the filter paper, and you can use any source of cellulose like paper towel or cotton. Next, 50 grams of potassium nitrate was dissolved in the 80 ml of concentrate sulfuric acid. With vigorous stirring, wait for everything to dissolve. I occasionally broke chunks of potassium nitrate that was struggling to dissolve. Once everything has dissolved, add cellulose source and I use the filter paper. Soak the filter paper and wait for 30 minutes. What is happening is that the nitric acid is converted to nitronium ion under strong acidic condition of sulfuric acid. And the nitronium ion is the active species that nitrates the hydroxy group of the cellulose. After 30 minutes, I add additional 20 ml of sulfuric acid. Mix the mixture and wait for 1 hour. Next step is rinsing. Rinse the nitrocellulose with huge amounts of water. Next, add sodium bicarbonate solution to neutralize the remaining acid. Rinse one more time to remove sodium bicarbonate solution. Dry the nitrocellulose before use. I tried to fire wet nitrocellulose but it doesn't work that well. And I decided to make another one. I did the same thing before, except I left it for about 3 hours, and uh, on the second edition of the sulfuric acid, I added random amounts of potassium nitrate. I really wanted my nitrocellulose to be fully nitrated, so I thought leaving it for a long time and using excess nitric acid would do the work. However, I was wrong. In the washing step, as soon as I added water into the reaction beaker, huge amounts of brown nitrogen dioxide was created. Oh my fucking god. That is I moved everything into the fume hood because nitrogen dioxide is no joke when it comes to the toxicity. Nitrogen dioxide is extremely poisonous. I accidentally smelled it and it actually had an odor of boiled egg except it is extremely potent. I quickly roll my respirator for obvious safety reasons. The filming of nitrogen dioxide happens when the concentration of nitric acid is above 86%. So I pour water to dilute it. And at first I thought I screwed up, but the fuming quickly died out and the addition of more water stopped the mixture from fuming.
I don't know the exact reason, but I think this happened because the addition of water caused substituted nitro group to revert back being a hydroxy group. You can see later in the video, and the second nitrocellulose powder that I made really struggled to ignite. It took about 2 days for me to dry all the nitrocellulose because the air is quite humid in here. One thing you should be aware is that the combustion of nitrocellulose actually produces nitrogen dioxide, and ignition should be done in a fume hood or well ventilated area. When you find the reaction formula of nitrocellulose in Google, it would actually say like this. But in this footage where I use the glass beaker to trap some gas produced, the color of gas is reddish brown, indicating that we are ma actually making some nitrogen dioxide. So the appropriate reaction formula should be like this. This in fact is the combustion of nitroglucose. For cellulose being a polymer of glucose, I think it's accurate enough. So the rest of the video is just lighting all the nitrocellulose that I have. So thanks for watching and enjoy the rest of the video.